Rogers loose out of turn number two. He'll lose some ground to the front runners. And up front, Bowling going to work on Long, and Long is around. Trouble in the middle of the field. Several cars are involved. The 96 of Thomas, Chad Ball. The 50 of Bunch, Tommy Lemons Jr. has some damage. A melee out of turn four on the start. Green flag is out, we're back underway. Johnson, Looney, leading the train into turn number one. Looney is loose, pushing up the racetrack. There's three wide out of turn two. McCaskill is there. Johnson to the high side, and it's Looney in the sucker hole. McCaskill pushes up. Now they're three wide for a second. McCaskill to the point. Johnson still stuck on the high side of the racetrack. Looney escapes that fray in second. And now it's Pulliam and Johnson racing for third. White knuckle action up front. Everybody makes it through unscathed. What a battle for the top spot. And we've got trouble further back in the field. Huff is around. Wilson is involved. And it's McCaskill with the jump in turn number one. Back battles Looney. Will he have enough out of the corner? McCaskill shuts him down. Into turn three, the top two. Single file. The battle is for third between Justin Johnson and Lee Pulliam. And here comes Peyton Sellers joining that fray for third. Johnson escapes with the third position. And now it's Sellers and Pulliam battling for fourth. Williams stymied by Johnson up top. It opens the door down low for Sellers, but Sellers can't take advantage. Sellers can't capitalize on the opportunity. Slides back in line in fifth, the top 10 now single file. Adam Long trying to rally back, and he's got the 83 of Matt Bowling in tow. And it's great to see Mike Looney back in a race car. Four top fives and six starts running a partial schedule last season. Didn't have the funding to run the full schedule and wasn't going to be able to make it to Motor Mile Speedway at all in 2014. Aaron DePlazies changed all that. And Mike Looney making the most of the opportunity. He's got a rear view mirror full of Lee Pulliam in turn number one. Pulliam is there. Down into turn number three. Looney yields the bottom groove to Pulliam. That Kiker Motorsports entry so, so stout. Glides by the 0-2 of Looney out of turn number two, and now the crosshairs are on the leader, Deacon McCaskill. The gap stands at six-tenths of a second. 33 laps are in, and the question becomes how long will it take Pulliam to reach the back bumper of McCaskill? And a battle for the lead is beginning to develop. Lee Pulliam has reached the tailpipes of Deke McCaskill. How wide can Deke McCaskill make the 08? Lee Pulliam with a great run out of turn two. Searching for daylight beneath the 08 out of turn number four. They're almost dead even at the stripe. McCaskill led that lap. Question is, will he lead the next one? Pulliam slips out of turn number two. Battles back out of turn number four. Slight breathing room for McCaskill that circuit. And while they battle for first, they have reached lap traffic. The two of Holdren, the 42 of Stollard, Will it impede the progress of the top two? Holdren yields to the leaders. No harm, no foul. Back battles pull into the inside of McCaskill. 55 laps in. The laps will begin to disappear quickly. 
William running out of time, and this lap traffic not what either driver wants to see. Side by side, dead even out of turn number two. Pulliam is to the inside of McCaskill. The top two plunging into turn number three. Pulliam pushing up out of turn number four. They touch just slightly. So far, so good for Deke McCaskill, but how much is left in the tank? McCaskill has ventured topside. Not uncommon to see Deke McCaskill opt for the upper groove at Motor Mile Speedway. He has had success with the top groove of the racetrack in the past. Will it be enough to forestall Lee Pulliam? McCaskill sails by Lancaster. Pulliam now goes high. Lancaster making it tough on Pulliam. Pulliam struggles to get past Lancaster. The gap opens up to four tenths of a second. We've got a great finish brewing between Deke McCaskill and Lee Pulliam. 63 laps are in. McCaskill is making it happen. Posey gets out of the way, a wise move from the young driver, and now Pulliam strapping him to the apron of the racetrack. Can't quite make it work. Coming to five laps of racing remaining. Can Deke McCaskill hold off Lee Pulliam? All oh, eyes are up front. What a great battle for first. As intense as it gets at Motor Mile Speedway. Side by side, the top two touch. Pulliam puts the OA of McCaskill into the outside wall on the back straightaway. Pulliam's five push up the racetrack in turn number two. It sent Deke McCaskill into the outside wall, and now McCaskill is seeing red. McCaskill cannot be happy about that move, and he is digging. The 08 is on a mission. 72 laps are in, three laps from the finish. Here comes Deke McCaskill. One motivated driver behind the wheel of the 08 at this point. There comes McCaskill to the inside of Pulliam. He's rallying back. Two laps to go. Deacon McCaskill wants the top spot back, and he's going to do it cleanly. To the inside of Pulliam in turn three. Pulliam slams the door. Pulliam pushing up in the center of the corner. There's Deke McCaskill's opportunity. White flag is out. How far will Deke McCaskill go to win race number two? Down the back straightaway for the final time. It's shaping up to be a dandy. Down into turn three. Out of turn four, the top two side by side. At the line, it's going to be Pulliam. Lee Pulliam wins a thriller. Deke McCaskill comes home in second. And Peyton Sellers... What a show, man. These fans had to be standing up, man. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, me and Lee's had our problems. Hopefully we can put everything behind us after tonight. And, um, you know, it's just hard racing, man. Um, I, felt like, I felt like he definitely owed me one. So hopefully um, we can get back to racing now. But just uh, real proud of the, the team and the second place finish here at Motor Mile. This is, uh, this is an awesome racetrack. Back to back to start off the season and in thrilling fashion. Dick McCaskill said you owed him one, Lee. What happened out of turn two? I, uh, you know, uh, me and him talked several times, and, and I, I have all the utmost respect for him in the world, but he's got me several times, and uh, I've always raced him clean, and uh, that one I just felt like, uh, felt like I needed to get it bad. So, uh, you know, I, he definitely had a car to win, and, uh, you know, I don't like racing like that, and, you know, but... He's a class act. He come up to the window and he said, dude, you owe me. And uh, I haven't forgotten. And, uh, you know, that, uh, that meant a lot to me. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we both move on and just, just race now.